Welcome everyone to this massive medieval door pack featuring 25 unique medieval style doors. This is probably the biggest pack of its kind available anywhere, so be sure to check it out. And of course, all of the links are down below. Within the pack, you will find each unique door with either an OBJ or an FBX file to work with pretty much any software or games engine you might be using. Now, why is this pack so special, you may well ask? Well, let's look exactly what you get within the download pack, which I think you're all going to love, and the way I've put it together, more importantly, extremely useful. You will find within each medieval door pack, not one, but two textures. The first is a standard 2K texture, and the second is a much larger 4K texture to complement any scene or project you might be creating. Within each door file, you'll also find a single and double door model for each of the OBJ and FBX downloads. The single being a door you can place against any wall and serves as a decorative piece. The double doors were created to be double sided and can actually be animated and usable within a games engine. Best of all, I've included not only texture sets of each door for Blender, but also a complete set of 2K and 4K textures specifically for Unreal Engine 4. You'll also find within the pack a complete Unreal Engine 4 scene, which you can load up and check out each door. This will allow you to see how the materials are set up and also allow you to see which door you may want in your own Unreal Engine scene or project. And that's not all. Within the Blender textures, you'll find I've combined both the albedo or color map with the ambient occlusion to give you a realistic look as soon as you apply your textures. This allows you to basically have a realistic medieval door in your scene within a few clicks of the mouse. Now, with all that said, let's get started and I will show you how to apply the textures, what the doors look like, and how to change the origin for animating your doors. So now let's come to one of the door packs, let's double click door 22, and let's come over, let's see what the door looks like first. So this is the door that we need to bring in, so let's bring that in. So now let's come up to file, come over to import, go down to OBJ, and let's come to, let's pick a door 22, so we'll come over and we'll bring in the double sided version of that door and this is what the door actually looks like. Now you'll notice that when I click on this door that the orientation is right down at the actual bottom of our door where it should be. This makes it really easy for when you bring it into Unreal Engine. They'll just come in and they'll be placed on the ground plane. You'll also notice if I zoom around that the actual door um, has hinges but it doesn't have the bolt on the back because you want, you'd only have a bolt on one side. Being as this is probably like a prison door or something like that. Now all you need to do to change the orientation to actually animate it is first of all you just need to grab all of this side first. So we just need to split it up. So I'm going to grab all of this and then this is going to leave me with the actual door. You can also see here actually that the actual door frame is here so we just need to split that up as well so i'm just going to come over grab all that and when i press the p button selection and then that's going to split them both off and now we should be left with just this now you can see that we probably need to make this door just a tiny bit smaller so let's press the s button let's make sure though that the orientation is in the center to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click set origin to geometry that's going to put it in the center and now i can press s make my door a little bit smaller just ready for actually moving now the next thing i want to do is i want to actually change the orientation to this actual hinge so i'm going to come in i'm going to make sure that i'm on edge select select this hinge press shift s cursor to selected press tab button right click set origin to 3d cursor and now when I press R and Z to rotate it, you'll see that my door actually rotates in and out. And this is great now because it means that we can actually animate this and send this through to Unreal Engine 4. Now, the thing is within my channel, you will find a complete guide on how to actually send through animations into Unreal. We're not gonna go through this right here, it's quite complex. So let's move on to the next thing. What we wanna do now is add in some textures. So let's come up and first of all, bring in just a quick add-on. So this is an add-on that's actually built within Blender. So click on preferences, you're gonna come up to your search, and you're gonna put in Rang, and you'll see one that says here, Node Wrangler. Make sure this is ticked on and then close it down. Now let's bring in some materials. So what I'm going to do first, because I don't want to animate this door, I just want to show you the textures. I'm going to join them both together. So I'm going to click on one, click on the other, press Control J, and then that's going to join them both together. I'm also, um, well, you can see my orientation's been reset back there anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Now let's bring in our materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this and call it Medieval Door. I recommend you should name your um, materials before bringing them in. 
And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our shading panel. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to come to my principal. So I'm going to click on it. I'm also going to turn around just to make sure that I can see the door like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, make sure I'm on the principal. Control, Shift and T. Press them all together. So Control first, Shift and then T. And then come over and find your textures. So this is door 22. I want to come to my 2K textures. And what I want to do is I want to select the base color with ambient occlusion all the way down to my specular. So shift select all the way down. You can see these three are the textures that are for Unreal and then click principled texture setup. And now you'll see all of the textures come in and you can see just how beautiful they actually are. Okay, so now we've actually um, worked out how to do that. Now we'll move on over to Unreal Engine. So what I'll do now is I'll bring up the pack again. And here is the pack. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come down to door UE4, double click it and click on Medieval Door Pack. Just make sure that you've got Unreal Engine installed, of course, and then just wait and let it load up. It shouldn't take too long. It's not actually a big file. Once that's open, you'll see that it's actually black at the moment. And that's simply because all we need to double click on is the actual level. So double click the level and here we go. So here are all of our doors. Now you can see that each door has been laid out in this way and that means they're very easily accessible. So I can just grab a door and just drag it in like so. You can also see if I zoom out that it actually looks kind of broken this door. If I bring another one in just to show you, you can see how broken that looks. And that is because these doors already have all of the LODs applied, that's level of detail, so that the further you are away, it will actually um, bring down the actual size of the polygon count. If I press F and zoom in, you can see that the doors are perfectly fine. Now, the other thing is you can see here that I've laid these out. So you've got all your base meshes in here, which is very um, handy. You've got all of your materials in here already um, put together. So if I double click on one and bring this over, you can see this is how they're all set out, which is really handy to know because you might want to actually bring in your own materials or something like that. And then finally, if I go back, you'll see that we've got all of our texture maps already in here as well. Okay, everyone. So that is basically the entire pack. You can press play and you can actually already worked out with the lighting and everything like that. We can move along, pick any door and you'll see also that they've got the collisions already applied on them. So that brings this actual demonstration to a close. I hope you're really looking forward to get this download pack. I hope you really enjoy it and I hope this demonstration has been useful. Okay everyone, so I'll see you in the next one. Happy modeling.